what is the average rate of change of the function defined by f of x is equal to 3 times 2 to the x power on the interval from 0 to 4. And before we look at the average rate of change of this function, let's think about it in more general terms. So we can graph a function, and let's call this function g of x, and let's say we want to look at it from this point A to this point B. So the coordinates of this point here would be at B comma g of B, and the coordinates of this point here would be at A comma g of A. And so the average rate of change would just be the slope of the secant line between these two points. So we can come up with a formula for the slope of the secant line by recognizing that we can make a right triangle here. And the slope, remember, is just the amount that the function rises divided by the amount that it runs. So for this line, we just have to figure out the difference in y values. And the change in y here is just the function evaluated at b minus the function evaluated at a. So g of b minus g of a. And then this change in x here, the run, is just this x value of b minus this x value of a. So we can say that in general, the average rate of change is equal to the change in y over the change in x from this secant line here, which we know is just g of b minus g of a, all divided by b minus a. And now we can just apply this formula here to our specific problem, this f of x here. So for us, the average rate of change of f of x on this interval is just the function evaluated at 4 minus the function evaluated at 0 divided by 4 minus 0. Since in this formula we essentially called 4b and 0a. And evaluating the function at 4, we just put in a 4 here. So we get 3 times 2 to the 4th minus the function evaluated at 0, which is 3 times 2 to the 0, all divided by 4 minus 0, which is 4. And 2 to the 4th is 16, and 2 to the 0 is 1. So it's 3 times 16 minus 3, all divided by 4. And 3 times 16 is 48, minus 3 divided by 4, so we have 45 over 4, which you can write as a mixed number as 11 and 1 fourth. So either of these would be the correct answer for the average rate of change of our function.